This is a first look at the upcoming Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, which brings a lot of new features and, and more changes if you're coming from 22.04. The code name for this release is called Noble Numbat. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 big features of Ubuntu 24.04. Let's get started. The first feature comes when you try to install the OS, they have a new installer. This is a Flutter based installer that brings a new look and they offer a customization for Ubuntu before you install it with the accessibility features. Otherwise, that is what you expect from an installer changing the language, connecting to Wi Fi. And the installer provides two types of installation interactive installations and automated installation. The interactive installation is the installation the usual way. The automated installations, you provide a YAML file that automated the installation so you can reproduce your system anywhere. You can do the default selection, just essentials, web browser, and basic utilities. And there's an extended selection with office tools and this used to be mini and full installation methods. You also get to install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. And you could download support for addition media formats. Selecting the drive, you can choose whether to boot alongside Windows or manual partitioning. Overall, this new installer provides an easy way to install Ubuntu. When booting up the new deinstalled distro, we are greeted with the wallpaper. Let's check what wallpapers they have. These look beautiful, and some of them are interactive between light and dark mode. Another big feature of Ubuntu 24.4 LTS, it ships with GNOME 46 and all the goodies that GNOME brings, which include better under the hood performance and enhancements, smoother animations, and better UI. And with GNOME 46, they are working on making notifications look better with interactive icons. Also, Nautilus, the GNOME file manager, got a big update with performance and other features. The search now is much faster and is separated into two icons, one on the left that is a global search and one within the folder you are in. Also with GNOME 46, a new option in the settings called system that groups region, date, users, and other settings together. Also Ubuntu now comes with the kernel 6.8. This new kernel brings support for newer GPUs and CPUs and better performance on laptops. Another new feature is the software center. Also Flutter based, it looks good and it's extremely fast. It uses the Ubuntu repositories and Snap packages. You can manage everything with a neat organized menu down below. Another new feature with this LTS release, you get 10 plus years of software updates and support. Other changes in this release Thunderbird now is a snap package. Overall, this update of the LTS version of Ubuntu looks to be solid update with the GNOME 46 and the updates that it has and the support for 10 years. It will be a great choice for beginners, even though Canonical's decisions are controversial, but nevertheless, Ubuntu is one of the best Linux distributions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you. Peace.